The world of One Piece is vast, but how did we get to this point? 5,000 years ago, the tree of knowledge was planted by the ancient people of Ohada. A thousand years later, on the island of Alabasta, the palace of Alubarma was built. 2,900 years later, the city of gold, Shandora, is built and prospers. A hundred years later, the earliest known sighting of the Elephant Island, though, is recorded. The Mink tribe decide to isolate themselves from the outside world on the back of the elephant, though. A hundred years later, the void century begins. A great civilization dominates the planet from one quarter to the next, and the great weapon of mass destruction now known as the three ancient weapons, are built. In the same country, they also disappear under circumstances that even today we do not know of. The only traces left behind of their civilization are the Poneglyphs. Poneglyphs are mysterious stone blocks with history inscribed on them in the form of strange letters. They are scattered among the islands of the world. Around the same time as the disappearance of the ancient kingdom, the Joy Boy attempts to raid Noah with Poseidon's aid, but he breaks his end of the bargain to Fifth Man Island, and Noah is never raised, leaving it to wait to await the day it could be used. One hundred years later, after a great war, the once prospering city of Jandora is destroyed. Then, the mysterious void century comes to an end. An organization of 20 kings come together to create an alliance known as the World Government. As they come to power, they can crawl and censor everything that has happened in the last 100 years. At the same time, outlawing worldwide ability to research and read the poneglyphs that were left behind by the people of the ancient kingdom.